What's up, Ring Slingers? It's the Emerald Enthusiast back at you with another Green Lantern product review. This time, it is the Green Lantern movie three and three quarter inch scale figure of Kilowog. So let's have a look at the packaging. Here is Ryan Reynolds as Hal Jordan. Here is the wearable power ring. This is number three in the series, and it says Kilowog. You can see the Green Lantern logo on the back here. You see this round bubble. Here's the figure and the energy blast adapter construct. On the back here, we get a brief bio of Kilowog. Here's some information on the accessory. And here we see a picture of the movie Kilowog voiced by the late, great Michael Clark Duncan. And of course, the character being identified as being from Bolivax Vic. And now it's time to bust this figure out of the package and see what's inside. Here's the figure free of the outer packaging, but still in the inner plastic. And here we see the drill instructor of the Green Lantern Corps out of the package and ready to rumble. Now these figures in the three and three quarter inch scale are not as collector centric as the five inch movie master figures. However, as a collector of all things Green Lantern, I still think there's a lot to like about this figure line and this figure of Kilowog. So let's take a closer look at the details now. So here is the wearable collector ring. And as a display piece, I think these are magnificent. I really love this choice of green plastic and this like starburst pattern that you can see within the ring. It really looks like something that could be housing a type of energy. So I certainly appreciate that. Again, on the back here, you can see that it can be worn at least by children and maybe small adults, but for a man with hands my size, uh, it really doesn't work. So here is the accessory, the Energy Blast adapter, and I really like the choice of translucent plastic here, that green hue and all these like spiky protrusions coming out of it. And this is where the figure's hand goes, and this is actually, when you feel it, it's a little bit more pliable than it looks. I had no trouble at all slipping it onto the ring hand. And here is the sole survivor of Bolivax Vic. And for accuracy, this figure, of course, is much greater in size than the other figures in this line. So let's have a look at the lower body here. I think the sculpting and the paint is really well done. You can see a lot of texturing here. I mean, this actually does look like, you know, gigantic legs. Uh, the flesh here, you can see, I like all these folds. That gives it an element of realism. You know, um, I like how the shading goes from the lighter green to the darker green up here and all these sculpted in folds. Yeah, that looks really good. And again, you still see the texturing. Yeah, could do that. I could do without this stamp back here, but that's a minor complaint. Yeah, so the legs look really good. However, in terms of articulation, really the only thing you can do is get him to kick forward. The legs don't go back or to the side. As we have a look at the torso here, extremely well done. As you can see, the molding is good. Again, you get this continued texturing throughout the figure. I certainly like that. You do get some articulation here at the lower part of the torso, so I certainly appreciate that. The Green Lantern logo, it's rendered well. I would have preferred a raised logo, as I often say, but I wouldn't have expected that really for this line and this scale. And again, more good texturing on the back here. So the entire torso, I think, is done really well. As we have a look at the head sculpt here, I like the fact that it kind of sits down into these massive trapezius muscles here. That's really cool. I mean, that's, you know, that's very fitting for Kilowog. I mean, he's a massive character in the comics. He's a massive character in the movie. So you would want a figure to look like this. You do get some articulation on the head. So that gives you some options in posing. I certainly like the detail on the head sculpt here. The face looks really good. You know, you get all those wrinkles sculpted in. There's a dark wash that has been given over the head sculpt and the skin looks really good. The ears and the eyes have been sculpted very well. I mean, this doesn't, it doesn't look fake. It doesn't really look plastic. It's very well done. Now the arms are very well sculpted. I like how they look overall. 
get this gripping hand over here. Certainly appreciate that. The ring, a good look at the ring here. I think that's actually really well done for this scale. I mean, it's it looks like it's raised, like it's something that's slipped on the finger. It's not just a perfunctory effort with paint. Certainly appreciate that. No movement at the wrists or the elbows, so that's a bit of a bummer there. However, you do get some good movement here out of the shoulders, so I certainly appreciate that. And I should also point out that with the shoulder articulation, you do get this swiveling motion here. So if you want to have him like brandishing his ring at somebody, you do have that option. I hope you have enjoyed this review. If so, please like and subscribe. Remember to stay tuned at the end of the video for some articulation shots. And also remember to catch me on the Multiverse Musings vidcast available right here on YouTube. And I'll be back to the internet with more Green Lantern related content soon. But until we meet again, this has been the Emerald Enthusiast, and thanks for watching.